Can y'all believe we're already on week five of a low carb cut? We've got the meal plan and it's gonna be an easy peasy week. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to week five's low carb cut meal plan with a free printable Google Doc. Right now, go ahead and print that Google Doc, follow along, let's talk about these meals together and what we're gonna be prepping for week five of the low carb cut. If you are new here, my name's Nicole. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am making this week super easy and simple for y'all, especially if you've been following along since week one. I have myself personally from these meal plans a ton of stuff in the freezer that I need to go through. I can't add any more I'm running out of room. We've got tons of breakfast, dessert items, proteins we need to go through. So if you've been following along since week one and you have extra stuff too, this is gonna be the clean out week and an easy prep week for you. Monday, let's get right into it. Breakfast, we're gonna have frozen peaches. I've been loving frozen peaches. They are so low calorie for the volume, guys, and low carb as well. Don't sleep on the frozen peaches. It's one of the apple cinnamon muffins by Greg Doucette. I have like two or three left in the freezer. They are delicious. That's that's one of my favorites that I've made from him thus far. Unlike some of the other things we've tried out, we definitely need a tweak going forward, but that is one that I love Falling it out, easy peasy breakfast. Monday's lunch, we're gonna do hamburger, cheeseburger, and a bowl. I did this for dinner a week or two ago and we absolutely loved it. And it is absolutely delicious with only 500 calories, basically 15 fat and 71 grams of protein and 11 net carbs. First snack of the day is going to be a peanut butter and jelly rice cake combo. I've been getting the Quaker rice cakes from Walmart, the no sea salt added ones or whatever they are. I actually got them for a really killer deal if you watch my latest grocery haul, but we're going to do some of the anabolic peanut butter and jelly on there for a really awesome, tasty carb up snack. Dinner I'm super stoked about because I've been, I've been watching the vlogs. I've been wanting to make an anabolic style hamburger helper before keto y'all. I liked all the bad things, all the bad things. And what I love about this lifestyle is you're able to make the things that you grew up that weren't good for you, that you loved, but you can make them healthier if that makes sense and still get the same satisfaction from your childhood or you're bringing up with the bad things. I know it might be a trigger for some of you guys, but if it's not and you're able to handle it healthy style, go ahead. So we're going to making anabolic hamburger helper. And what we're going to do is use the Thrive Market Wonder Noodles. I got the macaroni ones from Thrive and absolutely love them. And what I'm going to do to make like my cream sauce is I'm going to use the laughing cow cheeses. I, I'm going to use three or four of them and I'm going to melt them down with a little bit of almond milk. You can use whatever type of milk that you want and then I'm going to put that in my meat, meat mixture and it's going to be delicious paired on top of those Thrive Wonder Noodles and we're going to have peas on the side. Cannot wait for that meal. Dessert for Monday is going to be protein ice cream. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll pop my handle up right here. I've been next level obsessed with Greg Doucette's protein ice cream, specifically the peanut butter and chocolate one. I've got it hands down beat as far as how to make it now in my Ninja. The first one wasn't quite there, but now I know exactly by I on the ice and the water exactly how much to put in there and it is so delicious for the macros y'all for a small size which is like this big it is freaking huge is only 217 calories that is with 100 grams of strawberries and with sugar-free chocolate syrup three grams of fat 34 grams of protein and only 10 net carbs. Like, are you kidding me for a dessert? That's why I keep gravitating towards it because it is delicious. The macros are on point and it keeps me full throughout the night. Tuesday's meal plan for breakfast. This is gonna be like a reoccurring thing because I'm just loving it so much. Frozen peaches, get frozen peach wasted at your Walmart. And those ham egg muffins we made a couple weeks ago, they were delicious. So I will have that recipe down below in the description box again. Super easy meal prep and super super easy for the whole family, but they kept their consistency with the cheese. They weren't overcooked with the amount of time. So many people that made them said they were fire and I agree. I love them and it's a staple as you guys can see. And we're going to have the apple cinnamon muffins. Now those are the apple cinnamon squares from Greg Doucette's cookbook. They are super dry. I would definitely tweak them for next time, but I have a ton in the freezer. And when you have them with some coffee or whatever, I mean, it is what it is. We're getting that protein in and I'm not letting them go to waste, but I'll definitely know how to tweak them for a next batch. Tuesday's lunch is a big ass salad. Y'all know I love having the big ass salads and I have some chicken tenders that are frozen from Walmart in the freezer. So I'm going to meal prep those. And that's why it says exactly 
224 grams because that's what's on my Ziploc. So I'm gonna put those on my Blackstone griddle, have those ready to go, pair it with all the big ass salad fixins for a awesome lunch. Our first snack for Tuesday is 200 grams of strawberries. Strawberries and peaches are my fruit of choice for the low carb cut just because they are low in calorie, but you get a ton of them and they keep you full. Tuesday's dinner is a new recipe. I will have the Pinterest recipe linked down below. We're going to make air fryer taco stuffed bell peppers. I'm so here for it. We're using real pepper jack cheese, not the reduced fat kind because we're able to do that with all the other ingredients. Super low in calories, super low in fat. Cannot wait to try it. We're having two of those peppers, not one, two. And then I am loving the Green Giant Southwest Chipotle sweet corn blend. You can find that at Walmart. It is delicious, minimal ingredients loving that with a little bit of light daisy sour cream on top. And our dessert for Tuesday is simple. Another cinnamon raisin square by Greg Doucette. I'm trying to use them up. A cup of the Faye 0% Greek yogurt. You could do the Chobani as well. And then 30 grams of fresh strawberries sprinkled on top to end our Tuesday night. Pump day's meal plan again for breakfast. I told you guys, just go ahead and get peach wasted. Frozen peaches. We're doing our Bob's Red Mill gluten-free oatmeal cup. I get them from Thrive. You can get them from Whole Foods as well. 30 grams of strawberries. And then I am adding the equipped strawberry protein powder in my oatmeal. So real quick, I want to explain how I'm doing that. I've had a lot of questions with people telling me that their equipped protein powder is getting lumpy on them when they're putting it in their oatmeal. I cook my oatmeal cup just as it says on the packaging in the microwave. Don't get triggered. I take it out and I sprinkle in my 15 grams of protein powder directly in the cup and I stir it really well after I cook it then add my diced straw strawberries on there and it's perfect. I have not had any lumpiness, any chunkiness at all. It tastes just like the strawberries and cream Quaker oatmeal that you get out the box, but healthier. Wednesday's lunch, we're going to use the coconut flour tortillas that I get from the Salsa Texan company. We're going to do two of those and I have some already ground up turkey that I prepped and cooked and I had left over. So that's why exactly it says 133 grams. I have a little Ziploc bag. It's already cooked. I'll have to do a thaw it out and heat it up. We're good to go add it to the tortillas with all the fixins that I have listed in the Google Doc. And then yes, I am going to do 200 grams of green beans on the side. Y'all know I'm obsessed with green beans. And why am I obsessed with green beans? So many of y'all are making fun of me about it, but I'm here for it. And it's because they are low in calorie, low in fat, but high volume. Again, I'm trying to choose the most high volume fuel foods that are going to fuel my body, but have less amount of calories. So I'm not feeling deprived. I'm not feeling hungry throughout the day. Our first snack of the day for Wednesday is a Good Culture 2% Cottage Cheese Cup, just the regular one, and I'm going to add 100 grams of the Great Value Frozen Cherries. We haven't had frozen cherries on the low-carb cut yet. I did them when I did my carb cycling. If you know, I'm obsessed with them. They're higher in calorie and higher in carbs, so that's why I'm going a little bit low on them. This is the first time I'm having them, but I thought it'd be nice to switch things up. Dinner, again, super easy for Wednesday. So I just got Tyson Blackened Chicken Tender Wasted at Winn-Dixie. They had a BOGO deal and I went ham on it. And I love those because they are super low in calorie, high protein, one carb for a serving, and the ingredients are not bad at all. And they're spot on delicious. So we're going to have 250 grams of the Tyson chicken tenders. I'm going to take some romaine lettuce leaves. And we're basically going to make like tacos or like sandwich roll ups with the Tyson chicken tenders with the romaine instead of doing the tortillas that night. We're going to have sweet potato fries on the side. I'm going to add some Kraft fat-free cheese on those romaine lettuce wraps as well, some fresh avocado, some Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce, and of course, G. Hughes ketchup for our sweet potato fries. Dessert for Wednesday is a bag of the Orville Redenbacher Smart Pop 100 calorie mini bags. I'm going to do the kettle corn. I love saving that one for a sweet treat. Thursday's meal plan, breakfast, again, frozen peaches. Like, the girl's getting frozen peach wasted, but let me tell you guys, if you like peaches, this is it, and you're going to get so much of them for a low amount of calorie. Have another ham egg muffin I'm gonna prep and then another one of the frozen apple cinnamon muffins by Greg Doucette. For lunch, I am loving this combo. You've seen it on the meal plan time and time again. If you have not tried it, you need to. It is basically a big ass omelet. I'm using eggs. I'm filling it with egg whites as well for more volume. And we're gonna put some Applegate turkey bacon on top of the omelet. I'm not adding anything to the omelet. No milk, nothing, just spices. That's it, that's all you need because after you put 
put your turkey bacon on top. We're gonna add 100 grams of the Good Culture 2% cottage cheese with everything but the bagel seasoning. It is so fire to have cottage cheese and eggs together, y'all. You have to try it. And then 200 grams of strawberries on the side. That is an awesome, clean, delicious meal. First snack of the day is a Faye Zero Percent Greek yogurt cup with one of Greg Doucette's cinnamon raisin squares. We're trying to get rid of these, y'all. Dinner is mahi mahi. You can do any white fish you want. You can do tilapia, you can do cod, whatever you prefer out there. We like mahi mahi, so I'm gonna do eight ounces of mahi mahi with sweet potato fries on the side and green beans, I know, and sugar-free ketchup. Our dessert for Thursday night is another serving of Greg Doucette's protein ice cream. I'm loving it, and I'm gonna do 150 grams of strawberries with the Hershey's sugar-free syrup on top to end our night. Friday's meal plan for breakfast. We are having something different because Fridays are my days with the boys, so I'm getting up super early and getting my workouts in at 4 a.m., so we're gonna have a bigger breakfast later afterwards. I'm gonna do an omelet, but it's just gonna be an egg white omelet, so 150 grams of egg whites, but I like to put raisins in mine. It totally sweetens it up with some cinnamon. It is so spot on fire. You can add a little bit of sugar-free syrup on top if you want. I like to eat mine plain just as is. Two slices of turkey bacon on the side, two of those Quaker salt-free rice cakes, and we're gonna do the Lakanto peanut butter powder with water drizzled on top of those with 101 grams of banana on top of our egg whites and on top of the rice cakes. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna keep you full until lunchtime. Fridays are always meant for Frenchy Egg Fridays. Fridays and just because we had breakfast doesn't mean we're not gonna have breakfast for lunch for Frenchy Egg Friday. So for lunch, we're doing our traditional Frenchy Egg Friday like we've been doing every single one of these meal plans, but we have been incorporating the avocado cottage cheese, everything but the bagel toast on the side. I've been loving that. It's so good, so filling. You've got to try cottage cheese with everything but the bagel seasoning, but put on some type of really good bread, put on top of eggs. You won't be disappointed. Our first snack of the day is just gonna be a turkey stick from the new Primal. Dinner is a new Pinterest recipe. I will have it linked down below. Instead of using pork I'm going to use these turkey loins from Butterball they are super uh, clean and low in calorie and high in protein so it's the brown sugar balsamic glazed turkey loin pork loin if you're gonna use pork I'm gonna do the little potato company garlic parsley potatoes on the side I just had those here this week and they are so good less macros and sweet potato fries as well and then of course green beans I mean that is the veggie of choice most of the time and then to end out Friday if it wasn't epic enough with all the things that we've had before we're gonna end the night with another serving of Greg Doucette's protein ice cream I told you I'm next level obsessed for the weekend first thing Saturday morning I look forward to my anabolic french toast and i really love the one by remington james the peanut butter and jelly one is spot on probably my favorite one just because i love that peanut butter and jelly combo combined with anabolic french toast it is so good but i'm also going to be doing the egg white omelet thing on the side again with sliced bananas on top and raisins for a high volume breakfast that usually keeps me full like way throughout the day guys so that's why i try to like go hard on saturday mornings with that meal because i'm not feeling like i'm super hungry the rest of the day so speaking of what i've been doing on the weekend since i've been doing really big breakfast items on the weekends in the morning i've been doing a built bar so built bars i've just tried i love the cherry one and the coconuts the only ones i've tried so far i have the variety pack i also have a discount code with them guys if you order from their website in burgess gets you a discount count and I am loving them. They are low calorie, low fat, high in protein. The ingredients are really good and they're not going to be a high fat protein bar. So it's, it's perfect for cutting. It's perfect for an anabolic lifestyle. Definitely check them out down below. Use that code, order the variety box to see which ones you like before you commit to a single flavor. But I will tell you that cherry win is fire. I'm also going to be doing my peanut butter shake which i have on my instagram but i'll also type it up in the description box down below it's super simple and it's definitely keto friendly as well so are the built bars so if you're not doing low carb built bars are keto friendly the carbs are really low and so are my shakes so i'm gonna have a shake and i'm gonna have a built bar together it's gonna be super high in protein with 48 grams of protein to hold me out until my snack my snack is gonna be two of the turkey sticks by the new primal and in dinner we've had this before but i'm gonna do shrimp tacos using the salsa texan company coconut tortilla 
tortillas. Love those so much. And we are going to do sweet potato fries on the side, of course. And that's going to just be a quick, simple, but delicious meal for the weekend. Then, of course, on Saturday, I mean, are you seeing the theme here? We are having Greg Doucette's protein ice cream, like protein ice cream wasted. If you haven't tried it yet, yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Last day of week five for Sunday to round out the week, we are going to have anabolic French toast on Sunday morning, but it's just Greg Doucette's basic anabolic French toast recipe in his cookbook. I think he has it on his channel too. No protein powder in this one. I haven't tried it yet as I'm filming this, but I made mine like birthday cake style. Can't wait to update you guys on that. I'm also gonna do my egg white omelet with the raisins on the side, turkey bacon, and we're gonna do a hot coffee on Sunday morning with a little bit of nut pods. Again, for lunch, we're gonna do a Built Bar and another Reese's protein shake that I have combo. It's just something that's really quick when I'm meal prepping. I don't have time to cook anything. Built Bar shake done and I feel full. Back two of the new primal turkey sticks. We're getting turkey sticks wasted this week too. And then dinner, I mean, you knew it was coming back in the rotation. The red beans and cauliflower rice. I had that on my birthday. It was absolutely fire. So freaking filling and just Louisiana vibes all over. And the Southern girl was here for it because I hadn't had those in almost three years. And it was like one of my favorite meals I've had in forever. And we're having it again. I have some of the Weight Watchers cornbread. I call them the cutting cornbreads that I made. I'll have that recipe in the description box down below as well including my recipe for the red beans too. It's just my basic one. We just halved it and we're using kali rice in place of rice to cut down the carbohydrates. That cutting cornbread recipe is really, really good. So I have some of those left over from that week that I froze. So it's gonna be a simple, easy dinner night. Round out the week and make dessert super simple. I'm loving the Halo Top 100 calorie ice cream bars. You can get them at Walmart. They have a sea salt caramel and a fudge brownie one. The fudge brownie is hands down a little bit better than the caramel one but I love the caramel one too. There are 100 calories, super low in fat, five or six grams of protein and pretty nine net carbs. I mean, you can't go wrong with that at all when you're doing low carb or doing cutting. Even if you're doing keto, guys, strict keto, if you want to allot that into your day, I definitely recommend those versus the keto versions. The ingredients are a little bit better and they are, again, better calorie and fat wise. So that is week five's meal plan and a Google guide down below. If you enjoy these weekly videos, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps these videos out more than you guys know. And it's so easy to just click that button. Click it, girl. Click it. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Make sure the bell is lit so you do not miss a beat when I upload a new video. I've got lots of great things coming. We've got the weekly vlogs. We've got batch cooking videos still coming. Grocery hauls to talk about new products that I find for the low carb cut. So make sure that you stick around. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what you're looking forward for week five, whether it's to just clean out your freezer and get through some of the things we've already made, or if it's one of the new dinner items that we're gonna do. And speaking of, I'm not gonna do a batch cooking video for week five because a lot of things are just, I'm thawing out. So I'm gonna do a what's for dinner with the new dinner recipes in place of it. So stay tuned for that. Y'all have an amazing day and an awesome week. Keep killing it, guys. Keep going hard on your low carb cut journey. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.